So as of uh, Illustrator 2020, there's no uh, symmetry function, unlike Photoshop. Um, so I just want to real quickly talk about how I uh, create symmetry um, or how there's an easy way to do it. And then there's a way which I prefer to do it. So I'm going to show you the easy way first. Um, and that's through using an effect. So if we say, let's grab our paintbrush here and make a little line like that. So we can basically apply an effect to this uh, under effects. Uh, transform, distort and transform, uh, transform. And we can say <clears throat> we want to reflect X and say do one copy. The problem with this is it's always going to uh, reflect based off of the center point of the object that we have so selected. So the other way around doing this is to create a into somewhere in your layer we can create a big circle and I'm going to go to uh, my align options and make sure that that's center aligned in both axes. And then we want to create a transform effect on this layer. Um, I believe maybe we still have our transform effect. Nope. So you want to make sure that you do it on the master layer and not on the ellipse layer. So uh, we're going to select our master layer, go to effect, distort and transform, transform again, reflect X, um, <clears throat> and one copy. So now pretty much everything that we draw inside of this layer, as long as we stick to this layer, is going to have symmetry. Now, what I don't like about this is that the effect is basically these guys over here on the left are not anything that I can select and change. They're just going to be identical to these. So if I wanted to, say, apply a slightly different color or a different gradient to them, I couldn't do that. So I don't really like using this method. Instead, what I like to do, uh, we'll just back up with Control C a few times until we do not have that effect any longer. Let's go to Appearances. So yeah, effects not in there. So what I prefer to do instead is uh, say I grab my pen tool and I make a shape. like that, that I want to mirror. Let's just give it a color so we can actually see it. Uh, so instead of using effect, what I'll do is actually duplicate it. So I'll uh, use my, I'll select that object and then we can go to edit or object, transform, uh, reflect. But again, we're going to get the same issue here if I hit preview, that it's just reflecting around the uh, center point of that specific object. So instead, what I'll do is also select this circle, this big circle that I made out here. And now we can go to Object, Transform, Reflect, uh, Preview, and Copy. So that's basically the way I prefer to create symmetry. Um, this way, if I want to add, um, add uh, a different gradient or a different color to this object. It's much more easier. I have a lot more control. Um, the only issue that I have with this method is that you, if you do this a lot, you occasionally get a bunch of these big circles because they're being duplicated too. So you just occasionally need to go in and delete some of them. So just to show you an example, this is something that I did uh, with this method, and you'll see that I have this big circle out here. So anytime that I created a shape that I wanted to duplicate over to the other side, like this shape, for example, um, if I want to duplicate that, I will just select that and that big circle, and then go to Object, Transform, Reflect, and Copy. So that's how I do symmetry. Um, this way they are two separate objects and if I say have a have an object in the center here that I want to be uh, uh, symmetry like say this little flame design here so I basically created this with the I'll do it up here 
created this with a pencil tool. Um, I'm using a mouse, so I don't know how accurate I'm going to be. So just make a shape like that, and then just make half of it. So then once I just get half of it, I'll duplicate it over, move it over a little bit. Yeah. Object transform, could probably just do transform again, nope, because uh, we moved it. Object transform, reflect, copy. And then I can uh, just use Pathfinder to merge them together. If I want to move them closer, I just need to use my arrow keys and just keep track of how many times I hit uh, the arrow keys. So move that one, one that way, uh, maybe one more. And I'm holding down shift so they move a little further than they would normally. So something like that. Uh, and then I can just grab both of these and do um, Pathfinder merge. So that is how I prefer to do symmetry. Um, I know it's going to be a little bit different for everyone as far as what you prefer, but I like to have control over all of my shapes, not just half of them, even if I am doing symmetry. Um, so yeah, I hope you like this video. If you did, please subscribe to my channel. Um, I will be posting many more on many different subjects, uh, not only Illustrator, but also um, 3D modeling and things like that as well. If you have any suggestions for what you'd like to see me post, uh, feel free to comment below.